Hi friends, how are you? It's Mrs. Woodbury. And today you are joining me for morning meeting. Let's start with our greeting. Fill in the blank with a name and a kind describing word. For example, I said, good morning, Corey. I hope you have a strong day. Okay, so you see that? The first blank I filled in with a name. The second blank I filled in with a very kind describing word. I want him to have a good day. And the word that I use to describe that is strong. Okay, so your turn. Let's see. Good morning. I hope you have a day. Oh, I heard somebody say good morning, Mrs. Woodbury. I hope you have a good day. Well, thank you very much, friend. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go on to our share. Now, this is not just a share, but also a review. Remember at the beginning of the school year, we talked all about bucket filling and bucket dipping? Well, this is just a kind reminder. So bucket filling is showing kindness and respect for others. Bucket dipping is being mean to others on purpose. And being mean is not what first grade is all about. So I want you to share a time when someone filled your bucket. Share a time when someone filled your bucket. Think. Get your words together. And then share with someone in your home. When you share what that was like, make sure you say how you felt. How did that bucket filling um, experience make you feel? Okay. Make sure you use complete sentences when sharing. Okay, now for activity, just a little note. So you see this kid here? Hmm. Looks like that person is writing a note, which is exactly what your activity is asking of you. Okay, so be a bucket filler by writing a thoughtful note to someone in your house. A thoughtful note means, hmm, you're taking some time to think about what that person is to you, who that person is to you, and you're being thoughtful to make sure that the note is perfect for them, perfect for that person, okay? So these are just a few sentence starters that I decided to share with you to help you if you need it. Or you can just go and write a note that comes straight from your heart and you know best because you know the person that you're writing the note for. However, if you need a little bit of help, these are three starters to get you going. All right, so this sentence starter says, thank you for, and you fill in what that is. Thank you for, thank you for what? Maybe you might say, thank you for being so kind to me. Or Thank you for taking care of me. Or you might say, thank you for breakfast this morning. It was so yummy. <laughs> also, you might decide to say, I love you because. Hmm. Think about that if you decide to say that. What would you say you love someone for if you wanted to actually defend or express your love? You might say, I love you because you are so kind. I love you because you are so thoughtful. I love you because you love me. Or maybe I love you because you're lovable. <laughs> I like that one. And of course we have down here, I appreciate it when you, I appreciate it when you, what? What do you appreciate? I appreciate it when you say thank you, when I do something kind for you. I appreciate it when you hold the door open for me. I appreciate it when you make my favorite dinner. Or I appreciate it when you make me laugh. These are all really good notes that you could write to someone in your house to fill their bucket. Trust me. I am 100% sure that these sentence starters could definitely help you if you need it to fill someone's bucket. I hope that works out for you. Now, let's get started and ready for our morning message. Get that finger ready. All aboard. Shao. 
Good morning, first grade. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. The meteorologist predicted that today's weather will be sunny and warm. That means that you should definitely get outside to enjoy some fresh air when you are finished with your schoolwork. Be sure to have fun while you stretch your brain and continue to say nice things about yourself to keep you motivated and on task to be the learning hero we know you to be. Also, remember, you look so much better when you smile. So keep smiling. Love the first grade team. But wait, don't leave just yet. You got to stick around. Remember I told you there's this special announcement? Well, it's about your morning work. And it has something to do with two very special people who are part of the first grade team. Here we go. Come closer. I got to give you some background information first. Okay. Listen, Miss Hanley and Miss S, they graduated from college. They were in a master program. Yeah, seriously. They went to school to become masters in education so that they could be even better teachers. I know it's crazy. It's like, how can they even become better teachers when they're already so good? Well, guess what, friends? They said, I want to take care of my learning and I want to be better. So they went back to school to stretch their brain and become better at what they already do. So they were super excited for graduation. But guess what? The coronavirus was like, Erk! change of program. And they weren't able to go to graduation. So that's where we come in we can still celebrate them and we can have something like a graduation, at least a graduation ceremony on Friday during Fun Friday Zoom, we're gonna celebrate them. So to prepare for that, you gotta do this morning work, okay? So here we go, check it out. Help me celebrate our graduates by writing a note of joy to them. If you graduate from school, you're called a graduate. So you know I'm talking about Miss Hanley, Miss S, right? Of course you did. So I'm just looking for some help. Can you help me? I'm sure you can. Check it out. Help me celebrate our graduates by writing a note of joy to them. Let them know how proud you are. You will be able to share it with them at our fun Friday Zoom. Together, we can fill their buckets with congratulations. How's that sound? Does it sound pretty good? Great. Now, I know some people's like, oh my goodness, what if I don't know what to write? Ha ha, Mrs. Woodbury is already on top of it. And here we go. I have some examples, or maybe we can call them even inspirations as to what you can use as a motivator for what you might write to them. You do not have to use one of these. You can just write something straight from your heart if you want to, and I would encourage you to do so. However, if you do need a little bit of help to get those juices going on, you know, what you might write down for them, feel free to use this as a guide, okay? You can choose one of these and make it your own. For example, congratulations. I'm so proud of you for taking care of your learning. I appreciate all that you teach us. You inspire me to be a learning hero. Thank you for being a good role model. You are worth celebrating. Your learning makes me smile. Okay, so, hey, there it goes. These are great things that you can write. Please make sure you write them down. Please make sure you write down these notes just so that you'll have them ready on Fun Friday Zoom, okay? I really want you to be ready to share all these beautiful thoughts that I know you'll be able to share with them in what you wrote in your note. Okay, friends, till next time, bye.